morning guys welcome to today's video do you guys hear that listen it's the furnace it's our furnace it's, it's working <laughs> it's exciting to have a furnace working i bought this shirt so that i'd have like a nice fall shirt and then like i've said before i don't look good in these kind of shirts because i have a really long body so i just look like a sack when i wore it the last time so then i decided why not style it a little bit and kind of make it look nicer and more like a girl and so this is what i did still kind of look like a sack <laughs> but before it was longer i bought it because it was long and i have such a long torso and i rolled up the sleeves this time though and put a shirt underneath it and then i tied it i had to tie it really low because i'm so long torsoed but anyway i finally have a fall shirt that i'm okay with wearing but do you know what's really funny when we went like videoing and pictures video and pictures don't actually ever pro portray people and animals and things the way that they are i saw somebody comment the other day saying when we had chance he was wonky in the back end and he was not wonky in the back end but when you're filming and things can get out of whack he is happy and healthy and we did a vet check with him and he was not wonky in the back end but also um when we met this wonderful lady at the royal winter fair her name was kat she said wow you guys are all taller in real life and we are really tall hence the whole having a hard time finding shirts like this that look good on me because they're made for shorter torso women. I have a really long torso. In fact, I have a long torso and I have long neck legs. In fact. That's normal. What? A, no, a, a long torso, long legs equals a normal size. Either long in one or the other. I know, and I have long in both. That's why I'm so tall. What are you trying to say? I don't think you are. I think you have normal legs and a long torso. Okay, so my hips measure the same. I'm Sam is six foot four. He was six. How tall are you? I have short legs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's what I was gonna say. My legs are the same length Shorter as Sam's now, legs, <laughs> hips. For the whole time we've been married, our legs are the, our hips are the same height, and then he's really long in the torso. So I have long long legs for sure i have the same legs as a six foot four man and i also am really long in the torso sophie's short in the torso and longer in the leg gabby's short everywhere <laughs> <laughs> i tried this sweater on ellie today to see if it fit her we bought it for daisy when daisy was a puppy Don't go yet. ellie is traumatized i also have these adorable boots that i love they do up in the back like this and it's, they kind of match my shirt and I could wear them with that. I don't know why I'm suddenly on a fashion cake, but I decided to throw in some fashion to our daily videos. We're headed out to do chores. Come here, Ellie, come here. <laughs> sit, hey, sit, hey, come here. sit, sit, sit. Good baby! Let, wait! <laughs> Let's, I know, she has no patience for anything, but this sweater is not the right size for you. So you lucked out, hold on. <sighs> Wait, there you go, run and, run and be free, freeze your little butt. I don't know why, but Molly hates. I don't know why, but we had to move the other eggs. It smells like garlic in here. Did you give them garlic? No. There's oh yeah, we put garlic in their water. Garlic is good for chickens. Better than what it could smell like. Look, look at that, it's a fat chicken. <laughs> Such a cutie. She's like, give me my eggs back. So it turns out that <laughs> they're sharing eggs now. They abandoned, one abandoned her nest once one baby. This one. Yeah, this she one. abandoned her nest. Look, so this one wants all the eggs. They're fighting over eggs. That's okay. They're twins, just different colors. Yeah, this is definitely a black copper moran, and this is a black copper moran cross, probably. This is a black copper moran because. They both came out of black this copper moran eggs. On its legs. This one does not. Oh. Your hair is looking really cute today. Yeah, I know. I've been doing the same style and poofing it up. But poofing it up? Are you trying to tell me you like poofing up hair? Well, not at the top. Oh. Look how cute they are. Super cute. All right. So look, they're fighting. <laughs> the little Silky is trying to take all the eggs, which is fine. Wait, there's one in the front. You can have this one. The little Silky is trying to take all the eggs. She's like struggling. They're fighting over the eggs. <laughs> My gosh. 
But they had two different nests, but they've decided that that's not okay. They both want the same eggs. The same eggs. Oh, look at the, they're both roosters. They're fighting already. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We've never really had, well, we've had chickens that the moms have hatched, but it never really worked out. They well, are these adorable. Guys are nice to us, so it might be better. Yeah, they're fighting over the nest, but whatever. As long as all the eggs hatch, that's all we care about. Oh, see, she's stealing the eggs. See? The silky can't hold all those eggs. Though. I know. So she's reaching underneath the silky, grabbing the eggs, and pulling them underneath her. She wants to lay eggs, but she doesn't want to take care of the babies. And then the silky wants to do both. <laughs> She's like, move. And the silky's like, no, these are my eggs. <laughs> Drama on the horse farm. Honestly, honestly, what the heck? Ellie, come here. <laughs> She's on the roof. Oh my gosh, She's what the, the heck? I swear the goats have such an influence on our property that everybody thinks they're a goat. Let's climb the roof, she says. Oh my gosh, now there's two up there. Just leave them, they're fine. Oh. Bringing it in now. Last time I almost fell because I missed a step. Can you get the door? And I almost face planted. But <laughs> this got stuck. You so almost face planted in the poo? No. It's the barn. It's the tires. All right. Honestly, you cannot hire good workers. Yeah. So you can't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you suck. All right, you guys, it's a dilemma. Sophie has to get Storm's bread bucket and fill it. Why is that a dilemma, you ask? He hasn't been eating all of his grain. Because he put too much bread stuff in it that he Oh. Is that why? Oh, he ate it all. No. Don't put, don't, don't give them any magnesium anymore. So yesterday, Sophie let storm out and he still had like a tiny bit of his grain i like him to eat it all yours is coming big guy she let him out before he was done i'm like sophie and she's like well he's not done i'm like it doesn't matter how long you have to wait you have to let them eat it so then last night when gabby was here she's like he didn't eat all of his grain and i'm like leave him his grain and we'll do it in the morning so who's the better worker Laura, who made more work for the workers in the morning, but the horse got his food, or Sophie and Gabby, who are efficient workers, but then the horse doesn't get his food. What's right? I mean, I don't care if he eats it, but why though? Like, because he leaves his food in the morning if he doesn't eat all of it in time. And then they get, he just because eats all it the at night. Go out. Well, you're supposed to open the door, so open that door. Don't open the door so all the horses go out. See, that's the thing. You're supposed to open the door. But if Storm won't eat his food because all the other horses are going out, make all the other horses stay in until he finishes his food. That's how I feel. You don't think that that's okay? Sometimes it takes time to eat his food. Well, I say let's let them. Why don't we go down and let the goats out while we wait for the horses to eat? Because that's bad. They're going to get impatient. Yeah, I believe that too. I feel like Sam and the girls, I feel like Sam, who does chores with the girls in the morning, has like a really strong get the work done kind of mentality and then and, and I get it and it's not just because they want to get he wants to get the work done it's an exercise thing you know how your body feeds off of exercise and then you just like when you get to a certain point your body just takes over and it wants to just get moving and do the exercise maybe that's just what happens with hyper people I don't know but I think that happens with everybody who gets the rush from exercising and that's what he's like, and that's what Sophie's like, go, 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 go. And that's what I used to be like. But now I'm like, whatever, who cares? Let the horses eat their food. Why don't you go do goats? All right. <laughs> I'll go do goats. Where's the bottle? It's right here. Do you want me to try and give it to her? She doesn't eat it for me. So honey won't take like this kind of a nipple, even though we've had baby bottle baby goats that do take that Lola. kind of a nipple. Lola. She'll only take that kind. So you have to tape it up? Yeah, Sam bought these nipples from Timu. Don't squeeze this. Okay. Oh, and good. there's like a little hole at the bottom of it, so we have to put tape around it. I told Sylvie to leave Penny in while Storm eats. He should have the... the Sometimes takes his time. Sometimes he's like, I'm leaving. All right, well, let him eat as long as he'll eat. It's okay, Penny, you're coming with Storm. She's like, great, just who I don't love. <laughs> She's just running. <laughs> you having breakfast? 
I've been banished from the horse barn. And I say that jokingly, you guys, because obviously I'm the parent and Sophie just made a good suggestion. I told her to not let Penny out until Storm goes out. And then she said, why don't you go down and start the goats just to be more efficient or to get me away. But it was a good suggestion. Anyways, normally this baby will not eat her milk from me. She usually only drinks it from Sophie, so I'm actually shocked. Nothing cuter than a baby on a bottle. She is really chugging this, though. She's, she drinks a lot of milk. Yeah, lots of calcium for this baby, so she grows up big and strong. Still drinking. <laughs> All right, she's definitely done. You're definitely done. Right to the very end. Good job, sister. Yeah. So she's always slept in this little bed and I always check each day, oh my goodness, to see if she's still sleeping in here because it's heated and every day there's new poop. This is waterproof, but every day she pees on it. And I don't really know how safe it is. And we put the hay in there because she likes to eat all night while she's sleeping. And I like to check and make sure that the hay is not hot and it's not hot. But still, turn it off during the day. Still not favorable. I'm just waiting for her to get a little bit bigger and more used to the cold before I take the heating thing out. I might just take it out. It's gonna be warm this week. I might take it out, clean it off and then only use it for like when it gets really, really cold again. Come on. Come on, out, we're going out. To close the duck place because they like to eat in there. Come on. Oh my gosh. I checked on the baby, she's outside and she's not making any noise. And she has her head stuck through the wall. I was freaking out, thinking like, oh my gosh, she must be stuck. But this is what I see. <laughs> She's eating the grain. Here. <laughs> That's so funny. She's just like, I'll eat it. <laughs> if you want it that badly, you go ahead and have it. But that's only her little head fits through this hole. <laughs> it's adorable. So all this powder is actually alfalfa hay cubes, hay pellets. It falls apart, so she enjoys it still. She just, it just falls apart. It's all right there. <laughs> I have to show Sophie that, that's so funny. Goats are so resilient. <laughs> Ellie, come on Ellie. <laughs> so this is what she does. <laughs> Don't Molly. I want to take off her sweater. It's really nice out today. A perfect day for her to start getting used to being colder. Can you take off that sweater? For okay, so since we're showing our fits, I wanted to show you Sophie's outfit today. It has thumb holes. So this is Sophie's new show shirt. It's blue and it's got the white collar. Show them the white collar. But you can totally dress it up and just wear it as a regular shirt, which she loves. And she has the cowgirl up with pants and she has the vest. Do a twirl. And it's so cute. What I love about cowgirl up with green is that they cater to all different body types. And that is so admirable. Literally love it. I want that outfit for myself because it's so cute. And she can ride in it. So this is the show shirt. And she loves it. I can't wait till show season. Oh, I love that. So here it is with the collar. Put your head up. Here it is with the collar, the show part. And here, the, and it buttons all the way down, which is super cool. Make you so that you don't get too hot. But also I love that they come in all different colors. You can get any color. There's also Western ones. And, there's, and they have Western show shirts. That is so, so super cool. I love it. Okay, so. Yeah, so what, I swear Sam's taking our car to this quack of a fixer. Every time we go there, something new breaks when we come home. Well, I was out, we, Sophie and I were out, she's, and she's and all of a sudden, three quarters of the way home. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. How do we pop the hood? Underneath there's a hood button. There's a, pull it. Oh, whoa, did it pop? Yeah. 
Yep. So halfway home, no, three quarters, like we're literally just a couple of blocks from here. Oh, it's fine. It's a couple of blocks from here. It's not fine. It's not fine. I see a leak somewhere. I'm oh, yeah. I keep telling him that the guy wrecks our car. This car's never had a single problem. The minute we started taking them. Where's Gabby with the keys? I have keys. Oh, stir it up. The, the heat stopped working almost when we were almost home. And that's why we took it in to get it fixed just a couple of weeks ago. So I took it to get it, so he took it to get it fixed. And this is like the fourth time in a row we've taken it to this guy. And every single time we come back, something else breaks, like within a couple of days. And this, we took it to get this fixed and he fixed it and literally, I swear, at least she lasted until we got home, Sophie says. But my friend used to work with a guy local to here that worked for a big company like a big company where you take your car to get fixed and the manager in that place would say to to the employees like she would he would say to this lady's husband like if a car comes in and it doesn't have any other problems and you make sure it leaves and it has other problems so I know like I've always remembered that because she would tell me all the time like how corrupt it is at their work and we never took our cars there I swear this guy probably worked there at once upon a time because I've it's such a strong feeling in me like I just feel it so strong and I've been saying to him like don't go there. Anyways, we're home. We made it safe and sound. But we anxious. pulled into the driveway. Literally the minute that we got into the driveway, we both started smelling gas. And then I parked and we saw smoke. But yeah, my car was smoking. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the